Do you suffer from a broad range of symptoms such as bone pain, joint pain, headaches, chapped lips, dry skin, fatigue, and loss of appetite? If so, this combination could result or could indicate vitamin A toxicity. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at optimal. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin. Because it's fat-soluble, that means it is stored in your body's tissue versus if it was water-soluble, excess levels would be excreted. So the fat solubility means if you take in more than you use, it will be saved in the tissues and can result in toxicity in the symptoms I mentioned previously. So if you suffer from these broad ranging symptoms and you've been to the doctor and they've investigated everything individually and come up with nothing or the solutions they've tried haven't helped, then it may be vitamin A toxicity and not a bone or joint pain that requires manual therapy or not chapped lips and dry skin because of lack of essential fatty acids or whatever they, they would have hypothesized as a cause. So consider vitamin A toxicity. On the other end of the spectrum, vitamin A deficiency results in nyctalopia or night blindness and can result in overt blindness as well. But less than deficiency or vitamin A insufficiency can result in lots of symptoms that don't impact your vision because vitamin A is such a broad, uh, has such a broad effect as a nutrient. For example, if your vitamin A levels are suboptimal, this can impact your immune system because vitamin A is key in keeping your gut barrier tight. So remember, the gut barrier separates us from the outside world, and up to 80% of our immune system lies behind that barrier. So if we have a permeable gut barrier or leaky gut, then we are at risk for increased exposure to allergens, toxins, gluten, microbes, all things that can pull that fire alarm of the immune system and cause inflammation. Vitamin A is also very important, not only in immunity, but also in thyroid physiology. Vitamin A is important for thyroid hormone conversion. So if we have insufficient levels of vitamin A, then we may have suboptimal thyroid function and then metabolic effects of that. So cold hands and feet, constipation, brain fog, all kinds of hair, skin, and nail loss or, or um, lack of hair, skin, and nail health. So vitamin A is broad ranging in its effects in physiology, very important for thyroid, very important for immune function, and toxicity and deficiency and insufficiency all lead to suboptimal health and lead to loss of quality of life. So this is a nutrient that you want to have dialed in. You want to make sure you're taking enough, but not too much. If you're pregnant, you definitely don't want to take too much because that could result in issues for the baby. So monitor your vitamin A, monitor your symptomatology, and discuss with your practitioner if you think you're having symptoms that may be related to vitamin A.